So let's run it. Select company one. Gives us all the parts. Select this part and it will say 243 days old. Select this part, 215 days old. So if you remember, whenever we were putting test data into our product table, I purposefully wanted you to leave one to, to be null. And so I'll show you what happens because we did it with, with a company three in my case. If you click select, it's going to crash because data is null. This method property cannot be called on null values. So in order to prevent this error from happening, we want to go into our company deck and to our, our get company products function and check for null. And we'll do that by a string. You will want to, to do this for all of, your, of the parameters and possibilities for nulls. Uh, but in this case, because we know uh, what it's, which one is potentially null, we're just going to do it for this one uh, for the replacement part ID. So let's go replacement part ID equals space. And if reader dot is db null for if it's not db null replacement part id equals reader dot get string four and here we will change this to replacement part id and let's run it. And now what you'll see when we select on company three, it works. In conclusion, we reused what we learned in, from lesson one and lesson four. We created a new table in foreign key relationship in SQL Server. We created a product list class in C Sharp and created a stored procedure. We created and configured a child grid view using ASP.NET and C Sharp and we called the class method and checked for nulls.